holy eternal god holy incarnate word holy abiding spirit bless you forevermore amen for today's short meditation let us meditate on the gospel of matthew chapter 13 verse 7 other seeds fell among the thorns which grew and choked them let us look to the lord in prayer holy spirit breathe life through your word in us that we may experience life and joy in your presence let the word sink in our heart that we may delight and find joy in your presence in jesus name we pray amen in the parable of the sower some seed fell among the thorns it took root and grew but did not yield because the thorn choked their growth we all know that thorn hurts and even wounds us we understand that the seed that fell among the thorns are the seed that fell among the people who are hurt hurt on account of their past and do not let go of their past hurt the thorn can be on account of harboring bitterness against a person or abuse of some kind that is so painful for them to forget if the seed has not taken root it is also interpreted as the plant that is leafy but not productive or fruitful the seed took root and grew into a plant meaning the people grew in the gospel for they accepted the gospel they believed in the gospel and these are the category of people who are religious church going who read the bible attend prayer meetings yet they have a thorn that chokes them and they live in that hurt these people do not want to give up their hurt and therefore choked in faith yet they carry their hurt people are like these seeds that grew and became leafy and green but did not yield one cannot worship god when you are hurt they have to let go their past hurt only then they can worship the thorn becomes an impediment in their spiritual progress a person who is hurt the results are pain swelling and redness or sometimes worse and therefore will try to nurse the wound for instance a small thorn pierces the finger the entire body is affected by the pain the wound becomes their key focus that is so important than any other agenda in life a person cannot be treated for sickness unless the person meets a doctor and shares about the physical condition only then the doctor prescribes the medicine these are the people who believe in the gospel but cannot leave the thorn away from their lives in fact they are used to adjusting with the thorn the worst is how we yield and once the thorn is taken away the yield would be phenomenal we worship god when we worship god with all our heart if there is something in our heart then how can we worship god with all our heart worship is giving your everything god wants our brokenness and therefore give him all your pieces so that he can give you a joy of wholehearted praise if you want to yield spiritually you must address the thorn in your life to god and be rest assured of that healing if a person is yielding it is evident that the person has given up the thorn to god it is likened to the thorn that is removed and how one finds relief and thus focuses on life without thorns dear church this is a lesson for us if you're living in your past hurt and you want to come out of it share with lord jesus about your problems about the thorn you're going through and he will give a remedy to it and the remedy is the peace that passeth all understanding continue to trust in jesus jesus loves you god bless you all in jesus name have a great day amen